The Lockheed Torrance is the only outdoor pro soccer team in the city. Their mission is to make professional soccer available to everyone, and that's why they help send kids to camp. Andy Davi is the owner and head coach, and Declan Rodriguez is a player on the Torrance. Great to see you Thanks guys. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. yeah. And we're wearing our, our team swag here. Yeah. Um, but this is fun. I think a lot of people don't know that we have a professional outdoor soccer team right here in Milwaukee. That's correct. It's, uh, we started this with playing our first season right now. It's obviously a lower level because many people don't know how many millions of dollars you actually need to go up to a higher level. But it's, it's, uh, it's baby steps and it's the beginning of something. We have a lot of support so far. We have almost 4,000 people follow us on Facebook. We sold over 500 season tickets. But like you said, there's still many people who don't know that we, that we are here. Yeah. Why was having a pro soccer team so important to you for Milwaukee? Well, it started, I have, uh, so I'm for over six years now here in Milwaukee. Um, from where? From Germany, Leverkusen, Germany. I came over and I worked for a, a soccer club, youth soccer club. And the town of Milwaukee has for every, every sport basically a professional team, but there is nothing for soccer. And I wanted to give the kids we have in the southeast Wisconsin more than 40,000 kids who play soccer, registered kids. And I want to give them something that they can look up to. Yeah. Where they go in, into high school and in college where they say, hey, I have a goal after I'm done with school that I can play professional in my hometown. You mm -hmm. even have a foundation that helps send some kids to soccer camp, right? Correct. We started the uh, Milwaukee Town Community Foundation. We just raised uh, over $20,000. Over twenty thousand dollars. It gives us the chance to get seventy-five kids from the boys and girls clubs. They're going to attend this camp. It starts on July eleventh, for free. Cause um, soccer is not that cheap. It's expensive. In, it's, it's an ex with travel and everything. Yeah. So and we wanted to get them a chance to get the experience to get uh, coached by high-level coaches. Yeah. So. How neat. What is playing soccer done for you, Declan? What What do you love about the sport? Well, I mean, soccer has been my whole life for a long time since I since I could walk pretty much. Mm -hmm. So I came from Canada and I played all through growing up and then ended up at UWM and played my four years there and got my degree. And then Davi gave me the opportunity to come play for the Milwaukee Torrent. It's been a pleasure so far. That's so. great. Yeah. And, and for people who aren't as familiar with soccer, we have the Milwaukee Wave, but they play indoor soccer. Mm -hmm. what, what are the differences basically between indoor and outdoor soccer? I think there's a lot of differences. It's just a different game. It's smaller. You can play with the boards indoor, but Outdoor is just more space and you watch soccer on any level over in Europe or anything and you see them playing outdoors. So mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot more space to improve yeah. in the outdoor field. Yeah. How do you feel our team is, the Torrent? Are we good? Of course, we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're so far in the league, we're 3-0. Um, it's, um, it's great. We have some of the best players in Wisconsin. I also want that this is a homegrown program mm -hmm. that really that we have players who are Either they're born in Wisconsin or like Declan who has a, a tie to uh, Wisconsin. That, that's for me important because, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm always loyal. This is why I work with the coaches who are coming from my hometown. And it's important, but it's, it's a great team. It's, we're successful and it's can only get better. Where do you guys play? Where's, where's your home field? We play at the Elan Soccer Park at the Cola Engine Stadium. This is our home field and uh, it's great that the Milwaukee Kickers, the organization, help us with this, that we can get started with practice and everything. Yeah, and a lot of people are familiar with Elan, mm -hmm. so that's Correct. where you have home games and you travel some too. What about the recruiting of coaches and players and, and, and how do you attract some of the best players? Well, it's obviously the, in this for the first time here, all of the guys said who wanted to play, this is something great. This is, has a big chances to grow. And nobody really, the last thing that we had is over 10 years ago, the Milwaukee Rampage. And it's just the player said it's a chance to do something, uh, something good for the town. Obviously, a different level of soccer. We're playing in the, in the biggest league in, in America, the NPSL. And uh, there was really not much questions about money or they just were in for the thing and for the cause and, and what it stands for. Yeah. So, and obviously you get, with four Division I colleges, Division II colleges, and several Division III colleges, you have the talent in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, there, there's the room for those players, and it's, it was easy to get them. That's yeah. wonderful. That's one of the things I, I think is amazing, is we do have a lot of really great college soccer players in town. So, right. you know, looking for that advancement to be able to play. What other teams are you playing? You said we're 3-1 three and, three and one right now? We're 3-0. Three 3-0 and oh. oh. three and oh right now. Oh. And coming up next Saturday, we're playing lacrosse, yeah. right? So um, are you playing, uh, are there teams that are coming from out of state as well, or is it mainly in-state teams that we're playing right now? No, the Midwest region is actually uh, separate in three divisions. Okay. So there, it actually, the Midwest goes 
to New York over because there are so many teams. But in our division right now, it's teams from uh, Illinois. Um, we play the Minnesota Twin Stars mm -hmm. and then just this one team from, from lacrosse. Next year, we know already we're going to have two more teams from Indiana in our division so that we expand. And then there's one division up in Michigan and then teams but go a little bit further east. So. Incredible. Great. Really so cool looking growth. jerseys. Too. We have that next yeah. to Tiff and it's got the 414 on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is super fun. Brand new. Brand new. I just got before the show. Um, that's uh, this, like I said, we're really loyal and a friend of mine, Fred Gillick, uh, he's just started um, the 414 flags that's all around Milwaukee. And for us, it was important to really have also something more on the jersey that says, this is Milwaukee. There, people really see the sleeve and say, hey, 414, yes. And that's everybody Milwaukee. knows Nomad Pub. <laughs> of course. I love course, it. Of course. That is where you got to go when you're watching soccer in town. <laughs> and your next home game is coming up Saturday, July 9th. So Correct. it's not this Saturday, but the following weekend. You can put mm -hmm. it on your calendar, take the family out. It's 6 p.m. Eline Soccer Park is located on West Good Hope Road in Milwaukee. MilwaukeeTorrent.com is the website to visit. You play lacrosse that day at 6 p.m. A lot of soccer fans here in town, so I hope a lot of people yeah. will. Discover you and head out to support the team. Great to meet Great both of you. Great having you here. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so Thank much. You Can't much. wait to cheer for you. Yeah.